It began with a flicker, just a subtle pulse of light captured by Hawaii's Gemini Observatory. At first, scientists thought it was a calibration error, maybe an optical illusion born from the telescope's own lenses. But the data kept repeating, and soon the truth emerged. 3i Atlas wasn't traveling alone. Multiple bright points of light were following the interstellar object through the blackness, each one moving in perfect synchronization, as if tied to an invisible thread. This wasn't dust. This wasn't debris. It was coordination, deliberate, rhythmic, intelligent. Across observatories in Chile, Germany, and the United States, astronomers watched the same eerie dance unfold. An interstellar traveler accompanied by a silent convoy of companions, gliding together through the void between worlds. Then came the anomalies, the strange green glow that appeared where no carbon molecules should exist, the stability that defied every law of thermodynamics, and the resistance to solar plasma bursts that should have torn it apart. What kind of object survives the fury of a coronal mass ejection without flinching? What kind of structure releases water vapor in the frozen outskirts of space far beyond the sun's reach? Now, as scientists whisper behind closed doors and agencies go quiet once again, one question grows louder with every observation. What if these are not fragments of a comet, but something far more deliberate? What if what we're witnessing isn't a traveler at all, but a fleet? A formation crossing our solar system with precision, purpose, and silence. And if that's true, then maybe we've been looking at the universe the wrong way all along. It all began at the Gemini North Observatory in Hawaii, one of the most advanced telescopic systems on Earth. Astronomers were conducting routine observations when a strange pattern began to emerge from the deep space data. At first, it seemed like an anomaly, perhaps a faint reflection or the result of an optical distortion. But as the measurements were verified and reverified, the implications became undeniable. 3i Atlas was not traveling through space alone. Multiple smaller points of light appeared alongside the interstellar object, moving through the void in what could only be described as a coordinated formation. Each one maintained a stable, tightly bound trajectory, mirroring the path of 3i Atlas with uncanny precision. These weren't random dust particles and they weren't sensor artifacts. They were distinct, confirmed sources of light, real objects, observable across multiple frames, behaving in ways that no known fragments or natural debris ever had. As the Gemini team released their findings for peer review, astronomers worldwide began to take notice. The data suggested that this wasn't a chaotic cloud of debris, but a coherent system moving together, a structured convoy bound not by gravity, but by something far stranger. Scientists exercised extreme caution, as they always do. Every mundane explanation was tested. Could it be the result of lens diffraction, sensor interference, or perhaps pieces of the primary object breaking apart as it approached the inner solar system? But that theory didn't hold. If this had been natural fragmentation, the trajectories would have scattered unpredictably, forming irregular trails of dust and chaotic tumbling motions. Instead, what they saw defied the statistical behavior of known comets and asteroids. These bodies were stable, ordered, and disturbingly synchronized, maintaining a formation that resisted all natural explanations. The deeper researchers looked, the more profound the mystery became. 3i Atlas wasn't just another visitor from interstellar space. It appeared to be leading others, a procession of smaller companions that followed like shadows through the cosmic dark. And as images from Gemini continued to pour in, one truth began to emerge from the silence of the void. Whatever this was, it wasn't moving randomly. It was moving with purpose. As the data continued to flow in, astronomers began to realize they were witnessing something unprecedented. 3i Atlas wasn't an isolated traveler cutting through the darkness of interstellar space. It was part of a formation, a phenomenon so rare that it immediately sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Each of the smaller bodies accompanying it moved in near-perfect synchronization, maintaining a constant spatial relationship with the main object as though bound by an invisible force. The most remarkable detail was their consistency. The trajectories did not drift, tilt, or disperse as natural debris would. Instead, they remained coherent, tracing the same elegant curve through the void. If these companions were simply fragments torn from the main nucleus, 
broken apart by solar heat or gravitational stress, they should have behaved chaotically. Astronomers expected to see uneven tumbling, dispersing debris trails, or random scattering patterns typical of comets undergoing fragmentation. But instead, what they observed was the opposite. Precision. Order. Balance. The companions weren't diverging. They were staying together. Across the world, independent astronomers stepped in to verify the claim. Stefan Burns posted a detailed time-lapse sequence online, showing several distinct luminous points traveling alongside 3i Atlas in smooth, unified motion. In Germany, another observer known by the handle Night Monkey identified multiple individual trajectories, each maintaining a fixed position relative to the object's core. And in a particularly striking observation, Alexander Flum noticed a brief green flash separated from the primary body, a distinct glow not caused by his equipment, adding yet another layer of mystery to an already baffling event. The evidence became overwhelming. These were discrete, physical companions, not artifacts of light or interference. Yet their behavior defied every established principle of celestial mechanics. Natural bodies do not move this way, organized, deliberate, unwavering. The idea that a comet-like object could be leading a convoy of companions through the solar system seemed absurd. And yet, it was exactly what the data showed. In laboratories and observatories from Chile to California, scientists hesitated to draw conclusions. But privately, whispers began to spread. If the motion was this precise, this consistent, this intentional, then maybe it wasn't natural at all. While the scientific community struggled to understand the object's internal composition and bizarre emissions, another detail began to eclipse all others. The latest high-resolution images from the Gemini Observatory revealed something that no one could quite explain. The smaller objects accompanying 3i Atlas were not drifting apart. They were moving in formation. Each companion maintained its distance from the primary body with uncanny precision, following a synchronized trajectory as though guided by an invisible organizing principle. For weeks, researchers attempted to reconcile this with the laws of celestial mechanics. If these were natural fragments, broken loose by the heat of the sun or the pull of gravity, they should have dispersed unpredictably. Fragmentation produces chaos, bits and pieces spinning, scattering, and drifting away along unstable orbits. Yet here, the opposite was true. The so-called fragments appeared stable, uniform, and coordinated, each reflecting sunlight in rhythm with the movement of 3i Atlas, as if bound by design rather than accident. Scientists described the scene as a choreography without a choreographer. Some wondered whether the formation was held together by electromagnetic forces, an unknown field, or even deliberate control. Whatever the cause, the precision was undeniable. Even amateur astronomers, observing from backyard telescopes across Europe and North America, confirmed what professionals were seeing. Multiple discrete light sources, all keeping perfect pace with the primary object. The implications were staggering. If these companions truly represented independent entities traveling together, then 3i Atlas was not a lone interstellar wanderer at all. It was a convoy, a collective motion across the solar system that suggested purpose, coordination, and perhaps even communication between its components. In the quiet corners of astrophysical circles, one question began to surface. A question that no one wanted to voice publicly. What if these were not fragments? But probes? What if what humanity was witnessing was not a random collection of rocks, but a deliberate arrangement, a pattern of movement engineered by something, or someone, beyond our understanding? For the first time, the data hinted not at coincidence, but organization, a behavior that transcended everything known about interstellar debris. And as the world's telescopes turned toward 3i Atlas, scientists couldn't escape a growing realization if this was coordination, then we were no longer looking at a phenomenon of nature, but at a manifestation of intention. As the weeks passed and the data became more irrefutable, a chilling idea began to surface in scientific discussions. The possibility that what we were seeing wasn't just one object at all, but a fleet. The Gemini Observatory's images had already confirmed multiple luminous bodies traveling alongside 3i Atlas, each maintaining a synchronized trajectory through the solar system. Every new frame reinforced the same pattern. No chaotic scattering, no random debris, no sign of natural fragmentation. 
The motion was stable, deliberate, and sustained. That's when an uncomfortable question began to echo in the minds of even the most cautious researchers. What if this wasn't a coincidence of nature? What if the smaller companions weren't fragments of ice or rock, but probes, autonomous entities traveling together, a convoy in deliberate interstellar formation? The thought seemed almost heretical in academic circles, yet the evidence kept pushing in that direction. If these companions were indeed moving with intentional coordination, then humanity was witnessing something beyond the scope of conventional astrophysics. These weren't lifeless wanderers drifting through gravity's pull. They were behaving as though they understood where they were going. The trajectories suggested a collective intelligence, or at least a shared organizing principle, governing their flight across the solar system. Even among seasoned astronomers, the unease was palpable. The more they analyzed the movement, the more it began to resemble a pattern of navigation rather than motion dictated by chance. And yet, no one dared to make the claim outright. To speak of probes or formation flight in an academic setting risked ridicule. But silence came with its own cost, because deep down, many knew that these behaviors didn't align with any natural model ever recorded. For centuries, humanity had assumed it was the explorer, the seeker casting instruments into the darkness, hoping to find signs of others. But now, as 3 i Atlas drifted through the solar system with its mysterious companions in perfect unison, a more unsettling idea took hold. Perhaps we were the ones being observed. Perhaps these objects weren't visitors by chance, but by design. In the quiet hum of control rooms and observatories around the world, that thought lingered. What if this wasn't a discovery at all? But a meeting. While debates over the true nature of 3i Atlas raged on, whether it was a comet, an engineered probe, or something in between, a deeper kind of evidence began to surface, not from telescopes or cameras, but from the immutable language of mathematics itself. Avi Loeb, one of the few scientists willing to challenge conventional wisdom, pointed out something that sent shockwaves through the astrophysical community. Statistically, what we were seeing should be impossible. Over the last decade, humanity had detected three confirmed interstellar visitors. Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, and now 3i Atlas. On the surface, that sequence might seem like a pattern of discovery fueled by better instruments and luck. But when Loeb and others ran the numbers, the odds simply didn't make sense. There isn't enough solid, rocky material drifting freely through interstellar space to account for such frequent arrivals of massive, intact objects. Even if the entire galaxy were teeming with debris, the probability of three large interstellar bodies entering our solar system in such a short time span was astronomically small, so small that chance alone could no longer be the explanation. The statistics whispered something that data alone couldn't shout. This was not random. The frequency of these arrivals defied every cosmic inventory model, every simulation of galactic distribution, every law of probability governing the movement of interstellar matter. To believe these were coincidences would mean accepting that the universe had suddenly begun hurling massive, coherent objects toward our solar system without precedent or reason. But to Loeb and a growing number of independent theorists, the numbers told a different story. A story of deliberation, of design, of organization. If nature couldn't account for the pattern, then perhaps something, or someone, could. It wasn't about declaring extraterrestrial intent. It was about acknowledging that the mathematics itself had begun to hint at purpose. The universe, in its quiet numerical precision, was signaling that something more complex was at work. Something that didn't conform to the blind randomness we'd always assumed governed the cosmos. And that realization was more unsettling than any photograph or spectral reading. Because if the math was right, if the numbers were truly pointing toward deliberation, then 3i Atlas wasn't just another visitor. It was part of a sequence, a carefully timed series of arrivals that suggested planning, awareness, and intent on a scale far beyond human comprehension. For the first time, the equations themselves seemed to be whispering a truth too big for most to accept. We are not witnessing accidents of nature, but the footprints of a greater design. As 3i Atlas drifts deeper into the solar system, the mystery that began as a flicker of light over Hawaii has become something far larger, a challenge to everything we thought we understood about space, probability, and our place within it. 
The Gemini Observatory's images showed not one traveler, but many, a formation moving with precision through the void, defying every natural law we could test against it. It withstood solar radiation that should have destroyed it, released vapor where no heat existed, and displayed a structure so stable it seemed more engineered than accidental. And behind all of this, a silence. The silence of the institutions that know more than they're saying. Theories multiplied. Some called it a natural wonder, an impossible hollow comet from the galaxy's edge. Others whispered of construction, of coordination, of a convoy moving not by chance, but by choice. But no matter which explanation one prefers, the mathematics refused to stay quiet. Avi Loeb's analysis reminded us that three interstellar objects appearing in less than a decade isn't a coincidence. It's a pattern, one that defies the known inventory of cosmic matter and the randomness of galactic drift. That pattern suggests intention, and intention suggests intelligence. Maybe 3 I Atlas isn't here to communicate in the way we imagine. Maybe it doesn't need to. Its very presence is a kind of message, a demonstration that the universe is not as silent empty, or indifferent as we once believed. Humanity has spent centuries sending signals outward, desperate for a reply. But perhaps, in watching this strange formation glide past Mars and vanish behind the sun, we're realizing something we were never ready to face. We were never the ones doing the observing. We were the observed. When 3 I Atlas re-emerges from the sun's glare in December, telescopes across the world will realign, waiting for its return. Maybe the data will reveal that it's nothing more than a natural phenomenon, a miracle of physics and chance. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll discover that it was something else all along. Either way, one truth has already emerged from the darkness. The universe has no obligation to conform to our expectations. It doesn't exist to make sense to us. It simply is. And sometimes it sends a whisper across the stars to remind us that we are still beginners, staring upward trying to understand a conversation that began long before we learned to listen. Because whether 3 I Atlas is a fragment of alien geology or a fragment of alien thought, it has already achieved something extraordinary. It's forced humanity to look back at itself, to question, to wonder, to dream again. And in that wonder, the cosmos has finally done what it always intended to do. It has made us listen, 